1971, Sergio Oliva had posed in Brooklyn, New York for over 2,000 fans at the Pro-Am Mr. America, Mr. World contest. And in that time, Sergio had been competing for almost 10 years, won the titles of Mr. Universe and Mr. Olympia. But it was clear that in this era of bodybuilding, Sergio was the true mass monster of his time, earning him the nickname, The Myth. And being from New York myself, I had heard stories about Sergio showing up at this contest and just leaving a lasting impression with everyone there, that he was, even till this day by some, the most impressive bodybuilder they had ever seen in person. After the show, many fans were demanding to know what type of training Sergio had done to build his mysterious physique. And although at the peak of his bodybuilding career, he was following a typical six day per week, high volume, high frequency contest prep split, which I'll cover in detail in a later video. But himself and the show promoters and magazine publications reinforced the fact that that specific style of training is not what built the massive physique he had, but what he used to refine it before competition. The mass routine that was recommended at that time was a variation of power building, being that Sergio had come originally from an Olympic weightlifting background, then transitioned into more bodybuilding specific barbell training to build more muscle. The setup called for a very typical three day per week full body routine. This one consisted of nine total exercises, one to two movements for each body part, done with anywhere from just one single set all the way to eight per exercise, all done for as heavy as possible for four to six reps. The nine exercises were in this order, barbell squat for five to eight sets, power clean, five to eight sets, bent over row, five to eight sets, bench press for five to eight sets, bent arm pullovers, five to eight sets, press behind the neck, just two sets, barbell curls, two sets, calf raises, two sets, and sit-ups or leg raises for just one set. As usual, this setup called for working up to using as heavy weights as possible. That was the key for driving long-term progress on such a simple, bare-bones approach like this. Get brutally strong on the basic compound movements and add slabs of muscle mass to your frame. Today, a routine like this would be frowned upon in bodybuilding circles. But if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know back in the 60s and 70s era, full body routines, upper lower, torso and limbs, and very basic three to five day mass game programs were fairly common. And my own personal opinion on training is, until you have built the base of your physique, and depending where you're starting from, that could be adding your first 20 to 30 pounds of lean muscle tissue. And in many cases, even more than that, you should be focusing on getting brutally strong on very basic foundational movements over time. Today, too many people that have not even built their foundation are arguing over what the best split is or the optimal exercises, sets, reps, or routine. But 50 years ago, the average bodybuilder stepping into the gym for the first time made more progress in their first one to three years of lifting than many guys ever do today. And they did so using basic old school mass gain training. That's a system that can be done generally training between three and five days per week, hitting body parts frequently and focusing on progression over time. For guys that only have three days per week to get it done, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the tried and true full body training setup. For guys that can spend another day in the gym, my personal favorite is the four day torso and limb setup, which is a more bodybuilding specific way of training an upper lower style split. And my personal favorite and bread and butter is obviously the five day mass gain split. It's a system I created for guys who have five days to get the most out of their training time in the gym. And is a hybrid approach of the basic mass gain split used by bodybuilders in the 60s and 70s, and also the more known common pre-contest splits they used back then, where they broke the body up even more to give more attention to smaller muscle groups and use more isolation movements required for fully developing the physique. In my opinion, and based on the experience of using it with so many others, this is the go-to system for building a fully developed physique using proven old school bodybuilding training methods. And although you can absolutely build muscle mass using any of these three suggested setups, the best results will come down to what you can stick to consistently the most over time. And if you want to build more mass, I highly recommend you strip away all the junk you think you need and focus on getting brutally strong on the basics. And if you want my recommendations to get there, check out all the programs below. And as always, if you want to see more of the best original body link content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.